Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Alicia with Sea Star Soap Company. And on today's video, we are gonna be making some bath bombs. But I wanna show you guys how to revamp your bath bombs without breaking the bank and, you know, spending money on new molds. One of my best-selling bath bombs are my Sweet Pea Bath Bombs. And they're definitely a summer favorite. If you're like me and you live in the South, I can decorate my bathrooms or anywhere in my house with these all day long. But we want to do a little bit of a winter makeover. And I'm going to show you how I did that without breaking the bank. And without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so I have my mix all done. It's this beautiful aqua green. And it's clumping together pretty good. So I have this mold for the Electra Press. So I'm gonna try to get everything in my screenshot. And then I have these color uh, embed powders that I'm gonna be adding to them. I'm gonna just lightly put some in there. And then I like to make little air pockets. I'm gonna grab a little bit of embed powder. I have my embed powder that I just kinda put in there. And then I'm gonna Fill this up top. Um, great thing about this is I don't have to squeeze it. So I just put it in here, push it down, it pushes up because it has a little stopper on the bottom. And with that little stopper, it has a hole, so I just push it all the way through. Sometimes it'll stay in there, sometimes not. And then I'm just gonna flip it over. And what I like about the Electra Press is that I'm not straining my hands. So I suffer from carpal tunnel and I can't really squeeze bath bombs. So I had a viewer ask me if I could demo using these. I started off with these, but like I said, my hands hurt. That's why I switched. Um, with these, you kind of just want to pack them down. Actually, just going to make a hole like that in there. Going to add in that and fill the top. You definitely want to overfill it. Once you have both sides overfilled, I'm going to quickly mush this together. Okay. And I'm just scraping off the axis. Then I'm just going to tap. And you want to loosen both sides. So I'm gonna flip this around. And voila. Now I could flip it into my hand. I'm able to hold it. Okay. I don't have things for these, so I'm just gonna let this guy dry in here. Okay, so I'm going to let these dry for about an hour. And then I am going to put embeds on top and I'll show you guys how I'm going to decorate some of them. I did have one break, so I'm not the fastest, so my mix tends to dry up. It does have salt in it. So I'm going to let these sit for about an hour and come back and go ahead and throw on these embeds that I made for these guys. I'm gonna go ahead and put a glob of cocoa butter on there and put it right on top. And it will dry like that and it looks pretty cool when it spins around. Now, if you're wondering why I don't put my embeds in the soap, it's because some of them can get covered and it's not gonna look as nice as if it were placed on top. And you can see the difference. I brushed this off. The shells, I mean, this is a quick fix, but the 
it kind of came off. So you have to put the cocoa butter in there anyway to kind of get this just to stick if you don't want it to fall out. That's why I don't put them on the inside. To me, they look a lot better just sitting on top. Okay, so I'm gonna give these guys about an hour to dry and then I'll do the demo for you guys. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times, we'll be chilling and having a good, good time. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and for those of you who live overseas that have always wanted to try my products these guys are now available on etsy i just launched with etsy just to ship internationally so check that out if you're interested don't forget to hit like and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next video